How's everybody doing? Brother Chad here to make a, a video. Lots of testimonies I haven't shared. I'm trying to get back into it. Uh, this one goes back a long time, probably to the age of, I don't know, I, I think I was around 19. And I don't like talking about uh, the horrors I live through myself all the time and uh, the raping and all that garbage, but uh, this kind of has to be said to, to make this testimony understandable. I know nobody likes hearing curses. Uh, we're supposed to be holy when we talk about Jesus, but I got called uh, a bitch a lot. It seemed to be my, my second name. <laughs> trying to laugh it off, but uh, I'm going to explain to you guys what this is in the Freemason world and on the dark side and even the government. So everybody knows what that is in prison. You're the person probably getting raped in prison. Well, in the outside world, it's kind of the same thing. When you're uh, thrown away by your parents, you're considered a bitch and all the people on the dark side know I can do what I want to this kid. And he's, he's gonna get treated like he's either crazy or not believed by his own parents. So it's a, it's a free for all on a person like that. It's one of the worst things, my dad said, it's the worst things that can happen to anybody in this world is to be thrown away by your parents and given away to the beast, given away to the system. So in this testimony, I'm going to share a little testimony about somebody else, and I'm going to share a very powerful prayer, and I just used it about 10 minutes ago, and it was awesome. But first, I'm going to go back to when I was 19, and again, if you've ever seen any of the videos at my parents' place, and I told you, it was like people must have been waiting around the tree line or something for me to go to the mailbox sometimes, because a lot happened there. But anyways, I'm out getting the mail at the mailbox. And all of a sudden, this blonde with long, straight hair, I believe she was Mennonite, if I had to guess. Not that that matters. But all of a sudden, she just walked up to me out of nowhere. Like, I'm out in the country. You've seen where, you've seen where my parents are. There's nothing around. And she just started rambling off like 100 miles an hour, like like she wasn't in a, a good mental state at all. She, she starts talking to me. She's like, everybody keeps calling me a bitch and I keep getting raped and my parents don't believe me and everybody keeps treating And she was just like going 100 miles an hour and I was shocked. And this is a weird testimony because I've talked about being in repression. I was going through the same things. I was thrown away by my parents. I was getting roofied at parties. But I was in complete repression. I felt mentally 100%. I thought my life was perfectly normal and, and well which maybe that's what the Bible talks about to pretend or to protect the, put the gates of your mind up. It's better not to remember some things, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know for sure to say about that, but that's where I was then. But anyway, she's rambling off. Uh, I keep getting raped. Everybody's calling me a bitch, my own parents. And this keeps happening to me over and over again and nobody's helping me. And she just started, she was like, in a, she was in the middle of basically having a breakdown in front of me. She was, she was having a breakdown. And I'm like, Jesus, what do I do in my head? I'm thinking, what, what do I do here? What do I, what do I say? And this is what Jesus gave me to say. And it, this is so amazing. It's such a simple thing, this prayer right here. It's six words. This sentence is so powerful. I, I have like 10 testimonies using this in the last two years. And it works every time. But what I said, G Jesus had me said was, right now I speak peace to your heart. That's it. I speak peace to your heart. And she stopped... The, her breakdown stopped instantly. She she went quiet. She's like, how did you do that? I'm like, that's Jesus. She's like, I feel so good now. Like, like everything was just taken away. And it was so, so amazing. That one sentence. I speak peace to your heart. It can take the pain away. So powerfully. And this was taught to me by Jesus himself. So any of you anointed out there, any of you healers out there, Remember that sentence, I speak peace to your heart. I've seen so many times where this helped people, people that lose loved ones. Uh, I just, I'm leaving Cambridge right now and I just met a young kid there and just prayed that on him. He said he lost his mother at 16. I said, well, how, how are you doing about that? And he said, oh, I'm doing good. I said, it's still, I can see it's in your face. It's still weighing on you a little bit. He's like, yeah. And I said, watch this. I put my hand in front of his heart and I said, I speak peace to your heart. 
<laughs> he just melted in front of me. The guy started hugging me, and I, he's like, it just felt like a weight just got taken off my heart. I said, that's Jesus. That's what he does for us. Kids started hugging me. He's talking to my kids. He's like, this is your dad? They're like, yeah. He's like, your dad's awesome. It was just just amazing what Jesus does. I love being used. I love being used by Jesus. It's My days don't even feel right right now without trying to pray for somebody. That's what I want to do when I go out right now. But I wanted to share this testimony of that one sense. Everybody has things in their past weighing on their heart. So as a matter of fact, right now, anybody watching, I speak peace on your heart in Jesus' mighty name. Have a blessed day, everybody. God bless.